good afternoon guys it's been a really long and frustrating day today it's four o'clock and i still haven't done anything one of the reasons why i didn't get to explore lambini yesterday was not only because i wasn't feeling very well but my washing was being done and it's taken since i don't know midday yesterday until four o'clock well i still haven't got it until four today so i'm not actually sure how much of Lumbini I'm going to get to see purely because I'm going to Kathmandu again tomorrow. Fingers crossed that it's actually coming back now and I can actually explore Lumbini. I was just about to start to film and there's a monkey. A real monkey right there. <laughs> um, I got my washing finally. And the thing is, I usually wouldn't get annoyed about stuff like that, but I really only had two days in Lumbini. And because yesterday I wasn't feeling too good, and to and also my washing being done, I, I had no time to explore. So I've really only got a few hours. And I also didn't want to walk around in my shorts. Um, I know how sacred Lumbini is to people, and I really didn't want to just walk around in short shorts and be a tourist basically so I'm glad that I finally got some snazzy pants on um, so I can go for a little walk and just <laughs> and go for a little walk and just explore there is a group of people behind us and one of the <laughs> lovely ladies asked me whether or not I am dressed as a peacock <laughs> I guess I am. I mean, dressing as a peacock is cool, right? <laughs> okay, so I've got my ticket, or I should say tickets, because you had to pay also one US dollar to take a camera inside. So it's 200 rupees for the entry, and then 110 for to take my camera. Your pout is perfect. <laughs> yeah. One more? come to Lumbini. I mean, this is what I mean. Look at that. Can you see that through there? Can you see that? There's women. That is just another beautiful temple that I've seen. 
just walking along. Oh the first temple that I went to, which was the white one, um, I don't know if you saw the sign out front, but it was actually the birthplace of Buddha. You can't take any photos or cameras inside, so I wasn't allowed to film it for you. But there is a stone inside there, which is apparently where Buddha was born himself. Um, and then outside there is a pool and um, that is said to be where his mother bathed him after he was born. I guess what I saw in Pokhara but just a lot bigger and a lot more famous um, but it's still like ages away to walk so I'm trying to find a road because this is really secluded and I don't want to be here when the sun goes down so I'm gonna find a road and then I'm gonna get a rickshaw hopefully to take me there that plan failed I am absolutely miles away from where I need to be and I couldn't find anyone to have um, there's a cow in the road. Hello cow. Oh lovely. <laughs> that was nice. Um, yes, yeah, miles away from where I need to be. Can't find a rickshaw. So I'm going the opposite direction, I think, back to where um, I'm staying and hopefully going to find a rickshaw around there. My fingers are just crossed that I can see it at dark. I've seen pictures of it all lit up so I'm hoping I can see it. This is the <laughs> never-ending road that I'm currently walking on. I am so glad I got lost. My best friend Rosie from home said to me the other day that she really wanted to see an all gold Buddha and I said to her that I had seen one but I wasn't sure where and I just found it. There you are Rosie. So I am back at the hotel and I've decided not to go to the Peace Pagoda today which probably means that I won't be seeing it in Lombini. It's a shame but I think just with the time that I've had here I could have spent it a lot better so I've got a couple of tips for you one definitely get a bicycle there were so many people on bicycles and they got around obviously a lot quicker and you just see a lot more there is so much to see I only saw one zone and um, obviously the birthplace of Buddha so definitely get a bicycle and I would also say maybe split up the Peace Pagoda and um, seeing all of the different temples and the zones into two days. So I wish I saw the Pagoda yesterday and then today it went to all the different zones. Thanks very much for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.